This video will cover the installation of an IPD 25mm front and 22mm rear anti-sway bar kit into a 1990 Volvo 240 wagon. It is an easy installation which can be completed in an afternoon. So let's dive in, starting with the rear anti-sway bar. Start by loosening the bolt closest to the rear. You do not have to fully remove the bolt from the bar as it just slides out from underneath a bracket connecting to the trailing arm. Next, remove the second bolt securing the shock to the trailing arm by using a wrench, ratchet, or pliers to secure one side from spinning freely. Be sure not to lose the shock spacer inside the trailing arm. Remove the rear bar, navigating around the muffler. You will easily see the difference in size and weight between the two bars. Install the new bar in the reverse of removal. Here, you can see the spacer next to the rear shock, through which the bolt passes. Once complete, take the car for a test drive. Lift it back up and double check all the nuts and bolts. Now, onto the front anti sway bar. If you have one, start by removing the splash pan. Unseat the sway bar brackets connecting it to the chassis. Disconnect the end links by removing the nut, metal washers, and rubber grommets. The new front bar will come with polyurethane bushings as opposed to the original rubber. Use the provided grease to coat the inside of the bracket bushings. Wipe off the old metal washer and position the new bushing. Note that the bushing should taper away from the washer. Place a washer and bushing pair onto each end link. Position the new anti-sway bar. Install the bushings and saddle brackets.
Place the second washer and bushing pair on top of the sway bar at each end link. Lightly tighten the nut to slightly compress the bushings. Do not over tighten so that the bushings are bulging at the sides. Test drive the car once more. Double check that everything is secure. Reinstall the splash pan. And you're done. Enjoy your Volvo 240 with its new anti-sway bars.